Hi there, my name's Andy Hillier, and today's guitar lesson is going to be on Knee Deep at ATP by Lovejoy, which is the Wilbur Soot uh, band. I'm going to teach you the whole song, all the chords, uh, and the lead guitar part as well. Just before I teach you though, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, leave me some comments in the comment section as well. Uh, and if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, and you want to print the tabs off for this, I'll put them on my Patreon page, I'll leave a link to that in the description. My guitar is in standard tuning. Now I'm going to teach you the rhythm parts first and then at the end I'll teach you the little lead part which goes in the intro and also at the end as well. Okay, so the first line sounds like this. So to play that we've got an E chord, which is your first finger on G1, second finger A2, third finger on D2. So we've got an E chord, and we're going to go down, down, up, up, down. But it's nice and quick, so it's... So down, down, up, up, down. And it's going to be that same rhythm all the way through this whole lot of intro section. Next chord we need is C sharp minor, which is your first finger, A4. Second finger on B5. Third finger on D6, and your little finger just underneath it on G6. So we've got C sharp minor, same um, strumming pattern down, down, up, up, down. So that's the C sharp minor. The next chord is F sharp. If you played an F, you just move it up a fret. Um, so F sharp is your first finger across all the strings at the second fret. Second finger G3. Third finger A4, little finger on D4. Same rhythm. And then you're going to slide that all up to the fifth fret, which will give us an A chord, which is your first finger barred across all the strings at the fifth fret. Second finger on G6, third finger A7, little finger on D7. Same rhythm again. So the whole line slowly goes. speed. Now the next line, the second line, is exactly the same. So let's just play the second line. You'll notice the bar numbers have changed, so we're now on bar five. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Now on to the next line, the third line, you'll notice that the second bar of that um, uh, line is different. It was a C sharp minor, now it's a G sharp, which is your first finger barred across all the strings on the fourth fret, second finger G5, third finger A6, little finger on D6. So it's that same shape. So we've now got a G sharp on the second chord, then the rest of them are the same. So it's E, G sharp, F sharp, and then A. So here we go one, two, three, four. <laughs> And then the next line, the fourth line, is the same as the first and the second lines, with the exception uh, we're going to hit an extra A chord on the end. So bar 16, we're going to go down, down, up, up, down, up, and then into bar 17, another down. So bars 16 and 17 go. And it holds on for um, a little bit over two bars. So let's just try uh, that fourth line. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Then it comes in with the little arpeggios. Um, so let's just put those first four lines um, together, just so you know how the whole of the intro, the rhythm part goes. And um, we'll do it nice and slowly. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's like the intro part. Actually, this next lot of arpeggio 
It's st- still part of the intro, really. Uh, so this next line, the first bar starts this. So there's a rest, and then you play D2, then a B2, and then a G2, then a rest. Well, actually, it's just held on, not a rest. And then plays A, and then B2, and then G2. So you get this. So one, two, three, four, rest. And then this is where it starts sort of like rolling around. So bars 20 to 23 go. So you've got the E chord, which we've played before. Then we're going to play the open E, the A2, the G1, and then the D2. So you've got... Then you're going to play another E string, and then the G1, and then the D2. So it goes. Bar 21 is a C sharp minor, but we're going to go all the way up to the ninth fret. Instead of playing it back down here, we're going to play the uh, first fingers barred on the ninth fret, and then we need a, a, probably a little finger on G11. We're going to play the E9 twice, the G9, which is your first finger barred, and then the D11, then the E string, the G string, and the D string, so bar 21. Bar 22, you've got the F sharp chord, and it does the same right hand, basically, again. So if that should make sense, 22, and then bar 23 goes up to the A um, bar chord, like we did in the intro, and same right hand. So if we put bars 20, 21, 22, and 23 together, we get... And those four bars repeat, so you play them twice. And then we go on to the verse, which starts exactly the same as the previous line. So let's just play that line, here we go. Um, and pretty much from here, here onwards, uh, through this like, arpeggio, it's all similar, but there's a couple of little changes. So let's go on to the next line. Bar number 28 starts the same. Bar 29 is slightly different. It goes to this G sharp chord, um, which we played before. Fret 4 on the A uh, E string, then A6. You're going to play the D6 and the G5 at the same time. So it goes... And then bar 30... Is the same as what it would normally be on the F sharp. Then bar 31, it starts with A major, but then goes to A minor. So your first finger's barred and you take your second finger off. That's why it's a five on the G string, on that last hit on the G string. So it goes. So the second last note, you'll notice you take your second finger off and play the um, five on the G string. So let's just try that line. On to the next line, uh, which is the same as like the normal, uh, the first line of the verse. So we've got... On to the next line, uh, more of the same, but it does go to the minor in bar, in the last bar, bar 39. So it goes major to minor like we did before. So let's just try this line from bar 36. On 
to the next line. Uh, bar 40. Uh, m- more of the same as like we've previously done. Uh, in bar 41, it goes to the G sharp. Bar 42 is back to normal. And then bar 43, you've got A major to A minor. So let's try that line. To the next line, bar 44, um, just the same as the normal one round, so I go. Without that extra hit on the bass note on the last bar. And the next line, this is where it sort of like just builds up into the last section. Uh, it starts with the E chord. Place the E, A, G, then D, and then back to the G string. Then we go to the G sharp and plays E, A, and then the D and the G strings at the same time. And then the E string, the G string, and the D string. So bar 49. So let's play bars 48 and 49. Then we start with some chords, and we've got the F sharp chord, uh, which we've played already. You can do that eight times. And up to the A, and play that four times. And then to a B chord, you're going twice as fast. Um, so a, uh, B chord is the same as A, but up two frets. And you're just going to go da 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 da. So if we play bars 50, 50, uh, 50 and 51, they go. And there's a little accelerando there. It gets a bit faster through those um, two bars. And then onto the last section, um, and it's like the intro was. So the first line of this uh, from bar 52 goes. So it's the same as what we did before, E, C sharp minor, F, and then A. The next line, again, from bar 56 is exactly the same. So I could have put repeat marks in there, but I've just written it all out. Uh, and then the last line for the rhythm guitar is just going E, then G sharp, F sharp, A. It repeats that, uh, and it's just going to play each one four times, and then uh, it hits an A chord in bar 64. So if we just play that last little section, it just goes. Repeat. And that's the whole song for the rhythm guitar. Now let's learn the lead guitar part, which goes at the intro, and it also goes at the, like, the end section. Um, the first line of it sounds like this. So to play that, we play G13, and slide straight down to G4. And then you're gonna play it another five times like this. And it goes back to 13 on the G string. Keep your finger there and put your first finger, so use your second finger on the G13 and put your first finger on B12. And we're gonna jump between those and play the G, the B, G, B, G, B. And we're going to the first hit of bar um, 67. You can play the G string again, so you go. And that's where it's going to slide down to fret six. But if we just play the first two bars, bars the, uh, 65 and 66 go. So you're hitting that 13 uh, in bar 67 and slide down to fret six this time and then do the same uh, hit five times. And then it goes to B16, another B16, then B14 another B14, and then a G16, so it goes. So that's bar 68. So the whole of that line slowly goes. On 
to the next line. Starts the same. The only difference here is uh, we've got which is B16 three times, B14 three times, and then B12. So got and then we go on to the next line and it's going to play B12 and it's just going to slide down just like that. And then uh, the next bar goes which is playing you hold down E12 and B14 and you play the B14, E12, B14, E12, B14, E12, B14 and then just slide down like this. Then you're going to do a similar idea but on 19 on the B string and 16 on the E string goes. Uh, which I've put repeat marks in. Um, but it's not going to play the 12 on the B string, instead it's going to play the 19 on that first slide down, so you're going to go. So if we do the whole that line, it goes. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. And it does it again. And then on that last hit, you just play the E, 19 and sorry, the E16 and the B19 at the same time. Uh, and that just keeps ringing. Uh, and that's the whole of the solo. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed that little guitar lesson. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, it really does help me out. Give me a like on the video as well. Leave me some comments in the comment section. If you want to say hi, just say hi. I love to hear from you guys. Uh, leave me some ideas for songs, anything you want me to do. Let me know where in the world you're from. And if you love what I'm doing and you want to print this out, probably going to make it a lot easier because there's so much to get through there um, having it all in front of you and make it nice and easy for you so i'll put it on my patreon page you can support me on there i'll leave a link in the description well thanks for watching this i've been andy hillier and i'll see you next time mm -hmm.